What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today in this video we are going to be um, finishing up all the things I want to do before we go bossing. We go bossing. So the first thing I want to do is get 99 crafting. So that allows me to get tele tabs. It should be a lot easier to tele out if I need to because I can't die on this account. And then also that allowed me to get a Fury, which I already have the Onyx for. I just got to make it. So I just need the crafting level. And then also I want to get prayer up maybe between 80 and 90, somewhere in there. And uh, in the last uh, video, we got the looting bag. So I'm thinking about doing that in the wilderness, maybe killing green dragons, maybe frost in the wilderness. Um, and that'll also allow me to um, get like two M's pretty much of uh, bones. So that will help out a lot. But yeah, so let's go ahead and do crafting and we'll go from there. And there is 60. There is 70 crafting. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. So actually I'm going to go ahead and stop there at 70 crafting because I thought it was 99 crafting that we need to make tele tabs, but it's actually rune crafting and I really don't feel like doing rune crafting right now. So instead what I think I'm going to do is get a dragon stone, which shouldn't be too hard to do. And then once I get that, I'm going to make a glory and then I could tell you just using that. So it's just going to be like one extra click, but it'll still be a lot better, I think, than doing this. And clicking for the runes and then I can recharge the glory I'm pretty sure the fountain so it's kind of unlimited teleports so I think that's gonna be what we're gonna do and then we'll do some prayer and then we'll try some bossing maybe in this episode and then I'm gonna do giant mole because uh, it's a pretty easy boss and it drops a loot path of a key and that's all I need to get the crystal key which um, lets me open up the crystal chest and then I'll get a dragon stone from that and then also I want to test if I need to really do prayer to get my prayer level higher or if the prayer level I'm at now will be decent enough to do some bosses so that will also test a giant mole but um, other than that all it drops is some supplies that I could use and then after we do this for a little bit um, we'll go ahead and do a different boss I don't know what boss to do yet but we will find something to do Okay, never mind on that. I guess you need a metal spade to go down a giant mole. Um, I feel like such a noob. They've changed a lot of, uh, in this game since I've last played. But yeah, so I can't do giant mole right now. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. We'll find some boss to do that's kind of easy and just to test out the gear and everything. So I'll get back to you guys. Real quick, what I do is I organize my herblore tab. And uh, this is what I think is the best way to set it up at least for me um, so what I pretty much did in the way so like you can make each pot that you need all the way up to overloads very easy and very simple <clears throat> so at the top I got all the seeds like Renard seeds, Qualm and all them in order here I'll kinda just scroll through them I won't like list them all so if you guys wanna kinda copy this setup you can then you put the spider eggs here cause that makes the restores and then this is kinda just like a random filler spot so is this one, so you guys can fill it with anything, then it goes to the Renards, and it's just like the same as the seeds, but then it's the herb. So you guys can kind of see that. And then another random fill, another random. Now this is all like the supplies to make each potion. So this is what you need to make each one. I'm just going to kind of scroll through it, so if you guys want to pause it and read each one to make it, you can. Then you put the restores here, because those are the two that you need to make this. This is another random, and then I put super prayer three here, because then prayer potions right here. So when you use this, the supplies with the unfinished, it makes whatever the pot is. So those are all here, as you guys can see. Then this is kind of like another random fill, so I just put like my brew three there, just so it's right next to the four. So because brew threes are still good, and then the vial waters here, because when you scroll down, trying to make all these, they'll still be good. You got your full prayer potions. And these are all the extreme pods and then the torch at the end because in that way I can just like click like this boom 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 I mean I have all the pods I need to make the overloads and then here are all the doses of the overloads and then at the end you put the bone mill because you can click right here right here and then make the super prayers then the rest doesn't really matter for me anyways this is just the main setup so I thought I would just share that with you guys in case and if you guys are wanting a good organization for your herbal tab to make it simple and easy to make each pot and know where everything is so uh, that's what I do um, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing yet I think we're gonna go kill something I just don't know what 
So I'll see you guys back in a minute here for what we're going to do next. So I think what I'm going to do is just get a Slayer Taz, well a Boss Slayer Taz, non-Wilderness because I don't want to go in the Wildy because um, I have to use the Spawner and it's out by like Mage Arena. So I'm pretty sure if like a P carry kills me then I'll lose my status. So I'm not going to go ahead and even try that. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Cow Fight Queen. Um, I can't really do that because I don't have range. I mean, I could get my range level up. Since I'm not on a street, though, I'm just going to cancel. Let's try like one more here. Arma, can't do that. We'll do this last one on the video and then I'll just sit here. See what I get. Demonic Gorillas, I can't do that either because I need all the attack styles. So I'm just going to go do something until like, I get something I can do, whether it's hard or not, and then I'll just get back to you guys. So I came to the conclusion that there's not many bosses that I can really do. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through and see like what drops what, and I'm just going to kind of pick some. But I did get Jad as my Slayer test, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. Uh, I'm not going to do Jad in this video. Um, that may be the next one or the one after. I definitely got to get my range level up first and got to get some range gear, but... It's definitely in the future, near future. I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire cave, just knock it out. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys on what balls I decided to do, because I'm not totally sure on what I want to do yet. So I think what I decided that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and see if I can get abyssal demons or hellhounds as a task, because then I'm gonna try Cerberus and um, the abyssal sire. Uh, they drop some good stuff, and I think that they're pretty easy to beat. Uh, I haven't really tried them um, from what I heard and from reading. I think they're pretty easy to beat, but I have to get them as a Slayer test to be able to do them. And all the other bosses that I could do that are pretty easy and that I can actually do are all in the wilderness, and that's just a gamble with PKers that I'm not ready to take yet. I'll do wilderness bosses when I actually like, go kill some of them to get certain items that I want. But uh, until then, I think I'm going to try to stay away from the wilderness as much as possible. So yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get Abyssal Demons or Hellhounds. But um, I'm going to go ahead and train range because I need a Slayer Streak of 3 to be able to get Hellhounds and I think Abyssal Demons as a task. Um, but yeah, I actually sat there for like a little bit like not getting them for like a good 20 minutes of me just spamming to get it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to train range. Get that up, get some range gear, get some bolts, get all that stuff, and then we're going to try to kill some Dramonic Gorillas. Uh, let's see if we can get a Xanite Shard. That'd just be pretty cool. Uh, we probably won't get one, but we'll go ahead and try, and that'll be the boss that we're going to kill for a little bit. But we got to train range and do all that stuff first. Okay, so last night, I was just chilling, doing a lot of AFKing, but I got up to 93 range, so that's pretty good. Um, so now what I think I'm going to start doing is getting some range gear. So get like full black dehyde and a rune crossbow, some bolts and all that stuff. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is get a rune crossbow, but I'm not going to like get up my smithing and mining to just like mine the rune and then make it. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill some Dagonaws. So that'll be a little bit of bossing and I uh, hope that we can get it as a drop. That's going to be the goal. And then once we get that, we'll start upgrading all the other gear and then we'll have some range gear and then we'll go do a different boss after that maybe. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this rune crossbow. The rune crossbow, um, Dino Kings is actually pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to kind of show you guys how I do it here in a minute. I'm going to go re-overload and use the fountain. But yeah, we only stayed there for one overload dose and we already got the rune crossbow. So I think I'm going to do like another trip, maybe two, just because why not? See if I can get some rings or anything like that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I was doing with Dino King because it's a lot easier than what it used to be. But yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, pretty much what I did was I would try to lure it. You can lure them like to the edge here where you can't see any of the other ones so they won't attack you. But honestly, you don't even really have to do that anymore. You can um, kind of just run around this edge. And I just go between the mage and the range one so the melee one doesn't come at you. And they have like really close like attacks like before they attack you. Like look how close I have to get. So as long as you stay pretty far away from them, you see, the other ones shouldn't attack you. Before it used to be, like they would always, just, all of them would just run at you as you come in the like the dungeon or the room, and then they would all attack you at once. But now if you just stay on the edge and float between the two, whatever two you prefer, you could probably do Rex, the melee one over here. You could float between those two, but I just do these, 
and it's pretty easy. So you just run this way. Then you could whoops. Then you could switch prayers. See, this one has a longer attack, so maybe it is better to do the mage and the range one. But yeah, that's pretty much all you do. It's really easy then. And I kind of keep an eye to make sure the mage one doesn't come after me because that's the one that hits the hardest. But yeah, pretty easy. So I'm going to stay here for a few trips. I'll show you guys any drops that I get. And we'll see. Hopefully we get a ring or two. That'd be pretty nice. Look at that. We just got a hard clue. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we'll definitely give it a shot. So since we just got a hard, this might be like my last kill right here. And then um, we'll do the hard clue and then move on to getting more range gear. So that way we can do some different bosses. And I need range gear anyways to do Jad at some point. So that's another reason why I'm just trying to knock it out. But yeah, so we'll just go ahead and see what we get from this kill real quick. Since it is almost done. And then we'll do this hard clue if we can. I'll let you guys know if I do it or not. And then we'll go from there. Alright, so we didn't get anything. Let's go knock out this hard clue. So we were able to complete the hard clue. So we got the casket now. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see what we get. We'll probably get nothing, but I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Uh, yes, I want to open. Oh, a dark bow. Um, don't know if that really helps me in any way, but you know, if we could find a use for it, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and get black dehyde now. Ooh. I was looking it up, I need 84 crafting to be able to make um, the Black Dead body. So we're going to go ahead and just knock out 90 real quick. That way we can make the Fury as well. And then we'll have all that good upgraded armor. So let's go ahead and just knock that out real quick. We're going to do it for this episode. I'm so bad at recording. I'm up to 84 crafting, so we're pretty close to getting to 90. Um, I could do the Black Dead but I'm just going to wait until I get 90 so that I can just knock it all out. And also in the next uh, episode, I'm going to be getting 65 uh, fletching, so that way I can make the bolt tips, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what I needed. So I can go ahead and do that, and then we'll be able to make some bolts. I'm going to have to do some smithing probably next uh, episode 2 to get some bolts, because I'm going to need diamond bolts E, I'm pretty sure, to even do Jad. Then also we're going to get a prayer up, but uh, yeah, this one's kind of short, I'm pretty sure. But it's all the time I had to get some stuff done, and then yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, as always, and I'll see you all next time.